The Hubble Space Telescope has spotted the first rogue black hole, so a black hole all by itself. How unusual is this? Yeah, you know, we know that there's a bunch of these small black holes that exist in our Milky Way. So unlike that big one we were just talking about, these are the tiny ones. But they're obviously hard to see. We don't really get an image of them directly. We can only see when black holes feed. These small black holes don't. Uh, and so this kind of rogue black hole, which we think is actually more common than we've measured before, where it's kind of lurking near a nearby star or star cluster, Generally, we find them with other stars so we can kind of see their effects through gravity. But when they're by themselves, they're obviously, you know, there's no real other way of finding it. So this one was a bit of luck because we actually think there could be 10, 50 million of these small black holes in our galaxy. So we actually think they're quite common. But if we're not really finding them, we just don't have that good understanding of how common they are. So finding one by itself probably gives credence and pinpoints that, yeah, there's a bunch of these lurking around in our galaxy at a very safe distance, um, but we just haven't been able to find them yet. So hopefully, again, insight into just how many of these things uh, are in our neighborhood. I'm glad you said a safe distance. Uh, some interesting developments there, Brad Tucker. Thank you for your time today. Thanks.